The first thing we'll want to do is visit the STC Eastern Iowa website login page at stc-easterniowa.org slash wp-login.php. You can type this address directly in your browser's address bar, or you can follow the link emailed to you when we first created your account. On the login page, type your username and password, then click Login. The site opens to the dashboard. The dashboard shows you site information and your recent activity. You won't see much here until you have a few posts under your belt. Clicking Posts, then All Posts in the Administration sidebar shows you all the posts in the STC Eastern Iowa database. Not all posts are published, so you might see drafts and unpublished content here. Note that you can't view, edit, or change posts that you are not the author of. Most other users will have the same restriction, though administrators of the site can edit any content, regardless of author. In the future, we might have additional user types that can help manage a growing library of content, but for now, we're keeping things simple. To create a new post, click Add New under the Posts menu in the Administration sidebar. Give your post a catchy title, then scroll down to edit the body content. You'll see we can edit content using the standard HTML markup view or a WYSIWYG what you see is what you get view. Feel free to use either and make sure you explore the toolbar options available to you. Once you have your content finished, you're free to publish your post. We're going to defer this for a moment to look at some additional fields on the post editing page that you'll see as you write. First off, the format box. By using this feature, you can specify distinct styles to apply to your posts. For the time being, you'll want to keep the default standard selection. Since you're writing for our blog, you'll want to make sure you choose the blog category. If you forget to do this, no great harm will come. It'll just mean that your blog post won't be displayed with the other blog posts until you correct your selection. If you select a category other than blog, it means your post will be listed as a meeting, for example, or other content type we've set up for the site. For now, just stick to blog and we'll be set. Beneath the body content of your post, there's a big section called WordPress SEO. This helps us shape how Google and other search engines discover and index our content. It's an interesting area, but a more advanced topic than appropriate for now. I'll recommend that you just leave this part blank when you start. I'll make sure to visit every post and fill this information out. You can then look at how I've used these fields and pick up some SEO tricks for yourself. As a quick aside, SEO optimization of content is a much sought after skill. Learning it can pay dividends in many career paths. Moving on, you can leave the tags area blank for now. Tags are an alternate way of classifying content and I usually like to grow a body of content before trying to establish a tagging strategy for it. If we scroll back to the top, I'll show you a few controls that you might make use of. The first is the Save Draft button. Using this allows you to save drafts of your work to the database without publishing it. As writers, you're no doubt intimately familiar with the benefits of saving your work often, if not the perils of not doing so. So go ahead and make this nifty little button your friend. Once you click Save Draft, you can continue working on your post, or you can come back at a later date, open your post, and pick up where you left off. Next up is Preview. You can use this to look at how your post will look once it's published. I find myself using this in conjunction with the Save Draft button quite often. There are some additional settings here that we'll get into in the future. For now, you don't have to change any of these. And lastly, the Publish button. 
Once you click this, your post is live on the website for all the world to see. Don't panic if you spot a typo. You can come back, click the edit button, fix the issue, and publish again. One note about publishing. Every time an article is published, the site sends out notifications to various search engines telling them that we have new content for them to index. Because of this, you'll want to avoid, when possible, publishing an article and then removing it. This is kind of like telling a search engine, hey, come look at this post, only to have it not be there when they do. If it happens, it's not the end of the world, we just don't want to make a habit of it. And with that last point, we've covered posting to the STC Eastern Iowa blog. How about giving it a shot?